In this segment, I'm going to show you how to make Halloween lanterns using the Toil and Trouble collection from Making Memories along with the slice. This is the Halloween lantern that we're going to create today and you can make variations once you learn the basic steps. The product that we're going to be using for this segment is the Making Memories Toil and Trouble collection along with the slice and the Toil and Trouble design card. So to start, I have taken a piece of orange polka dot paper, and again, you can use whatever paper you want on that, and I've cut it to seven and a half inches by 11 inches. And the next step is we're gonna mark it so that we can fold it. So we're gonna take a ruler and we're going to mark in, so I'm just from one to 11, I'm gonna mark three and a half inches, seven inches, and 10 and a half inches. And then I'm gonna set this aside. This just helps me to fold it correctly. So next, I took another piece of paper and I cut it to four and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm gonna measure that, again, from one to four and a half. I'm going to measure that at a half inch and four inches. Next, we are going to, I just created this little pattern from white cardstock, just some scrap white cardstock, and you can make your pattern however you want, but this is the shape that I wanted the lantern to be able to see through. So I'm gonna just eye it according to my marks, and I'm going to trace this pattern onto my background paper. And you're going to do that for every panel that you, that you use. So there will be four total. So again, I traced it on this and then I would go ahead and trace it on each one here. And I already have that finished and then you're gonna cut that out. And I already have that finished, that step right here. So you have your your three on the first one, and then your one panel on this second piece of paper. So after that, you're gonna go ahead and score your paper. So I'm gonna use my ruler and my marks to make a straight line, and then I'm gonna use this bone folder to score that. I like using the bone folder because it just makes it easier to score, and we actually want the paper to be folded this way so I'll show you that again. So you're gonna get your mark, you're going to score the paper. I think it's easier to fold it one way since my ruler's here, and then fold it back the other way. So we have that. I'm gonna set that aside and do it to my second piece of paper. Okay, so I have my paper all folded. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some vellum and this is um, vellum from a slice paper pack. And I'm gonna cut four pieces at three and a half by seven and a half. And then I'm gonna adhere that to the back of my, my paper. And you can use any type of glue. I like to use um, just clear tape, just because I think it's easy to use but you can use whatever adhesive that you prefer. So once you're done, you'll have your vellum on the back of each of these pieces. Let me just put one more piece of tape here. And then you can fold those through. The next step is to use the slice. So I'm gonna set this aside and use, we're gonna be using the Toil and Trouble design card and I'm just going to slice this black paper. This also comes from the Toil and Trouble collection. You can also use black cardstock. So let me show you the finished piece again. You can use any of the shapes on the design card that you want. You can use four different ones or you can use some duplicates, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do October 31st. I'm gonna select that at four inches and let that cut. So once the cutting is complete, you can press menu. You can take your shape off. 
using your spatula. So that's the first one. And then I would cut um, one more for that one. I've already done that, so I'm gonna go on to my next shape, which is the haunted house. So if you press the menu key, you can see the categories. So I am going to select this haunted house and I'm gonna do it at four inches also. So I'll select that and then press the start button. Okay, so going to press menu because we're done. Then I'm going to take my haunted house piece off. And again, you're gonna do duplicates for those. So I'm gonna set my mat aside again. I'm gonna grab my pieces. And then we can go ahead and adhere those on to our lantern. So I'll use some glue for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere those down. And then from here, you can decorate them however you want with the other embellishments that come in that program. So you can set those however you want. And some of the embellishments that I've used are these fun stickers. Wanted to hang a little spider on them or a pumpkin, however you wanna do it. So let me show you the final piece again. So I've taken some another color paper, scalloped it, used some ribbon, I've stapled that on I've added a spider and along with some string on that. And then you're going to just adhere that with, again, some tape or some glue. I like to put the piece of tape on the outside. And these are decorations, so I would not recommend putting any type of candle or anything in those because it's, again, made of paper. So you wanna be careful on that then you would glue that together and you have your lantern and again if you use different shapes and different varieties of paper you can customize that however you want